Hey there guys, so this is the my first attempt of trying to get this maiden up in the air, so that was attempt one, here's attempt two. Um, you notice it says air for my mode, which means I'm in acro mode, but it's air mode is on. But like I said in the last video, I hadn't set up the gyro for this. I just copied and pasted it. I've done that now, I did it all last night. And that time it was on cruise. So this is my first time in manual. Ah, nearly. No cigar. And here we go again. Oops. But we got it. We got it. So this is line of sight. This is just me having a little go on a stick. Line of sight. And now I'm stepping backwards towards the FPV monitor. And as you can see it sort of settles down a little bit more. The FPV. Um, oh wow. What do I think to the first flight? It's absolutely awesome. These things are so manoeuvrable. It's scary, um, but at the same time, it's a blustery day today. There's quite a bit of wind, not loads of wind, but it's, it's quite blustery. It's for the first time out with this, I think it's, um, I prefer to have had it a little bit less bluster, but it makes no difference. It makes no difference. It's nice to feel a bit of wind on there. Uh, those people down there were actually waiting for me to take this thing off. If you could have seen the amount of people that were there, first of all, um, not in the fields, but once I did it, I was setting up, and then uh, yeah, there was a, just loads of people coming over to have a look, see what's going on. So, yeah, well, do you know? I, I quite like this. I, I do quite like it. I'm going to give you a little bit of an explanation of what's up there on the on-screen display. So the top line there, you got manual. So that's my modes. Uh, to the right of that, you got the heading. Um, I'm going to get, put a video up, and I'm going to tell you why knowing where your heading is is quite crucial. At least it would have been for me on this one particular flight. But um, so, and then next line down, we've got the H stop, which is the, what I like to call the link quality between the satellite and the satellite receiver. To the right of that, we've got our current, the amount of power that we're drawing. Now, I used the 100% throttle um, when it went up and, and it drew 10 amps and around about 67% throttle when there's a lot of wind look if you well let's just get to that we're drawing around about five amps let's say so the amount of milliamps that I've drawn so far um, is 193 milliamps 194 on the right hand side of that is the um, oh sorry uh, yeah and then on the right hand side of that is how many kilo, how many um, milliamps we're using per kilometer so you can see that per kilometre, 66 milliamps per kilometre. Then we've got the total distance on the right hand side of that. Below, next line, we've got a satellite 16. And then we've got our speed. And if you notice, the speed going out this way slows down quite a bit. And as we turn around, it goes back up, but the throttle still stays the same. That's because there's quite a lot of wind. There is quite a bit of uh, pressure on the wind there. So we've got the speed. Next one across is the, al the altitude. That's 28, 29, 30 meters, 32, 33. To the right of that, we've got the distance from home. Next line, we've got our RSSI, and then we've got this, um, it's like a uh, calculated speed, so there's a horizontal speed there, 47.9, that's going against us. This is what's enabling us to speed up, you know, down to like um, low 30s on kilometres an hour, and then up into the 70s um, without adjusting the, um, the throttle. We are a little bit higher than 70 then, that's because I was going down as well, so gaining speed but that's because there's quite a lot of uh, gusts blowing about up there so well, I'm quite, quite happy and the next one to that is the vertical the amount of pressure pushing us down and next to that is the throttle position and that's the throttle position if I could put it into a like assisted mode uh, be it stabilization or returns home or whatever it will then let me know the difference between my actual throttle position and the position that it's putting the throttle into for these assisted modes but of course I can't do that at the moment because the gyro is not set up in this for me to do that once or twice I will go into and then I'll go into air mode and it just tries to dive down towards the ground so I'll put it back into manual again and pull it back up again uh, I'll try and see if I can notice when that happens and point it out to you. If I can't, then I'll just get back on the video, look at it, and I'll just put a, a, a thing up. So yeah, this is uh, it's quite nice.
I think um, because it's so small as well, you know, it's less than a metre wide and there's no tail or anything on there, it's going to be a lot easier to, to get it about. The Sky Hunter, even in my van, is, you know, takes up the entire van. Um, although I do like that, and for a long distance thing, I think that's going to be that's going to be the way to go. But I've had this since before I bought the Sky Hunter and the Bixler, and I've just never had it up in the air. So this is my first time up in the air, and I'm pretty chuffed with myself. I'm in manual mode, and um, everything seems to be okay. But I do like the idea that it's not using too many amps. Let's say it's five amps on average. Um, that means I might be able to use the 18650 batteries. Make a battery pack up of that. Let's say three amps or something. Uh, battery pack. Use some of those Sony. What's it? VX6s, I think. 6Cs. I can't remember what they are. But yeah, so then um, uh, let's throw up a position. Of course, we've got the battery there. And we've got the, the channel. What channel I'm on. And what power level? I'm, I'm on power level two out of four, so I'm on 200 milliwatts. I don't see the point of flying 600 milliwatts when I'm close. You just end up with lots of reflections, and you know it looks like interference coming across the screen. Um, but if you just drop the power down a bit, that helps get rid of some of that. So, and then we've got a fly time in minutes, six minutes fly time at the moment. Um, I didn't. It didn't have a fully charged battery. The battery that was in it was the one that was in there from the night before, just setting up. There we go. That's the. Uh, that's my maiden, my maiden flight, with my wing. And I think there's going to be plenty of times for going out with that, and having more fun with it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Quick look at the stats there. In case you don't know what the, the wing actually looks like, there. That's. I mean, that's just a stock photo of a wing uh, of that my wing, the AR. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.